Hello, I'm Valentin Mandace from Historic Houses of Romania, Casa de Epoca, and uh, today I'm in front of a glorious new Romanian style house villa from Ploiesti, the whale town north of Bucharest, about 40 miles north of Bucharest, 60 kilometers north of Bucharest, famous for its oil uh, refinery and exploitation. And as a result of those money, even from the late 19th century, we have uh, beautiful architecture, which is, unfortunately is not much taken care of. This uh, building is called uh, Villa Radu Stanian, and it has been built in a few f uh, phases. Uh, at the end of the 19th century, in early Romanian style, made in this uh, beautiful, quite orientalist, Ottoman uh, uh, outlook, neo-Romanian, mature neo-Romanian, uh, before the Great War, and again uh, renovated uh, with uh, new materials like reinforced concrete or ornaments from concrete, uh, finally done in the 1930s. As you can see, the portal, the, uh, the, the doorway, is absolutely phenomenal. It has these three registers, that is uh, uh, the Holy Trinity, and it has that owning, that marquise, which is typical to Romanian um, uh, entrances in um, monasteries in southwest Romania. It has two towers, that one is more obvious, that is the Kula Tower, incorporated in neo-Romanian style architecture uh, beginning with 1903 with uh, Villa Mina Minovic by Cherkes, the architect, uh, and then it became a classic, the Kula Tower in neo-Romanian style architecture, and also we could detect it at the entrance over here. You also notice that many elements are grouped in three, or with three lobed arches, as you see over here, three big openings over here. Uh, the, the doorways in three registers, three small windows over there, all of that is the Holy Trinity. What I like a lot at this house are the finials. Look, uh, the ornaments on top of the roof over there, like pinnacles, those are the finials. Another one is over there with a pigeon on top of it. And also there is a roof crest, put over there, typical of the mature phase neo-romanian style at the height of the neo-romanian style let's go around the, the building a bit and uh, this is another good vantage point over there it's a nice window three lobed arch uh, kill, uh, killed arch uh, is like a broken arch reminding of the ottoman heritage but adopted for christian symbolism all of those blind windows, they are an influence of the Moldovan architecture, which unfortunately is not much present into the neo-Romanian style, just some kind of echoes. Uh, over here you can see an original La Belle Epoque uh, lamp, which is still around, which used to embellish Ploiesti in Bucharest, just, just a few rounds, but it's just hanging on a thread, basically. That is. Uh, it's a piece of wire. And the whole building is in a derelict state. I think it's a problem with the ownership or um, basically just the reduction of duty from the town authorities or from the proprietors. It used to be in communist times up until 1990s uh, or late 1990s or even 2000s, Casa Casatorilo, the marriage house, where the locals got married, officially married, the registry office for marriages. Not a bad one, I have to say. But now it's absolutely left derelict. I want to go to uh, closer to the wall here on the street to see some more ornaments. Just look uh, at this one over here. This one uh, has a special symbol. It's when you remain star architecture. It's a, uh, a symbol of the seraphim, but put in a square, which also is uh, the idea about the Greek cross, the type of uh, faith. Greek Orthodoxy of the Romanians and uh, the Seraphims uh, you know that in the Christian uh, divine hierarchy they are next to the gods so the primordial spirit is in the center of the universe then the Seraphims which are some like some kind of galaxies those personages the human face and uh, four wings they fly around the god the primordial spirit uh, uh, shouting holy 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 in this instance, it flies around the neo-Romanian style house because 
the God is inside your house. Your house is blessed by God. That is the significance of this thing. And I have to tell you that most of Romanians have lost the meaning of that. Just a handful of Romanians, among 21 million Romanians, know about these things. It's me and uh, probably the other few, you count them on, uh, on the uh, fingers of a hand to have an idea what communists can do for you. You lose your tradition, you lose your uh, myths, you lose your uh, heritage. Look again at the window, woodwork of the window, absolutely phenomenal. Over there you have that kind of trilobed arch with the kill arch, like broken arch, and the woodwork of the roof, which is in two register, uh, registers, it's a very complicated one, it's uh, horizontal and then it goes at the 45 degrees. This kind of rainwater drains, they are from the 1930s because they are square or rectangular, better said. Normally they should have been uh, around, uh, like cylinders, with some ornaments of them. But this is the renovation from the 1930s. You can recognize the layers in a building, because no building, is, uh, historic building is original. Uh, I don't think in, in the world you have a, an original building, like it was hundreds of years ago or tens, a few decades uh, ago. Always it's a layer, each generation is uh, bringing its contribution or destruction. In Romania, this building, it had three layers of contribution in the late 19th century, before the Great War, 1930s, and then destruction, which was the worst in our days in the so-called democracy in Eastern Europe, in this corrupt country. So, I hope that you found interesting this video and uh, my discourse about the new Romanian style. And we'll see each other very soon. Thank you and goodbye.